today I'm going to be teaching you how to fertilize some carnivorous plants being able to use maxi plant fertilizers there's a 161616 kind and uh, if you're able to dilute this powder into distilled water you're really able to fertilize Venus flytrap, sundews, pitcher plants, uh, thoracinia and really any carnivorous plant that you might have out there in general for beginners it's really not recommended to fertilize carnivorous plants but in reality, it is, it is definitely possible. It just has to be done the right way. So here are the simple steps. First, you're going to get some Maxi. You're going to add these uh, quarter teaspoon per a gallon of, of water. I recommend it to be distilled water since carnivorous plants are really, are really picky about that. So I actually have a gallon here, right here, uh, which you can get for almost from almost any grocery store. Out there, it should cost a little bit less than two dollars or about a dollar and then what you're going to do is just open it up and add that quarter teaspoon you should end up with something like this where there's really nothing that is undissolved everything is completely integrated into the water and this is your diluted fertilizer for for your carnivorous plants and this is where things get a little bit counterintuitive so in general, most fertilizers would go into the leaves, so they like foliar fertilizers, and there's a fertilizer that goes into the soil. Actually, most soils um, in gardening shops will be packed with different minerals, with different fertilizers to be able to enhance growth. But in this case, what you want to do actually is put it extreme, put this fertilizer strictly in the leaves. So you're going to want to put some drops in the pitcher plants, some in the Venus you know, flight trap, but within the trap or within the leaves, and then also have actually one cape sandy that is just uh, a bit of rogue and started growing like in this fly trap this just propagates so so easy so i'm just going to drop a couple of spots here a fertilizer within the sticky substance that they have in the leaves so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to use this which makes it very very simple to be very accurate and then i'm going to grab some of the fertilizer to drop it in the leaves this is where maybe the most important thing from this video comes comes into play and it is that never drop any of the fertilizer or really any type of substance with nutrients within the soil you have to be very careful to only drop it within the pitchers within the leaves and don't let it fall because that will add nutrients to the to the media and that actually ends up harming the plant of course maybe a single drop might not make a lot of effect but over time if you are like consistently making this mistake you could end up killing your plant technically this is also a way of like feeding your plant so you can give it bugs you can give it a few drops of fertilizer that is completely fine it's kind of like your decision in terms of prefer preference overall i'll say once a month or once every couple of weeks you can add a couple of drops in a few of the pictures you don't have to add it to all the pictures if you just do it to a couple of them like for example here is one on this side as well this one too and that's enough I usually avoid feeding all the pitchers at once because if I did make a mistake, maybe it's a little bit too concentrated and, and I end up killing the pitchers, I don't kill all of the pitchers, I just kill a couple of them. So it's a little bit of, of insurance. You can even technically fit, um, feed some of the ones that are kind of dry. This one, a bit too dry, but some of them are maybe halfway. Here's an example. This one still has the capacity to be able to absorb nutrients from the bottom. So you can definitely add some fertilizer there. And in a way it's a little bit lower risk because this picture is pretty much dying anyway. So I'll do that. And that's it. Now let's look at the Venus flytrap. This one is a little bit trickier because just the way they are structured, there's not many places really to put the fertilizer. The pictures are just so, so easy. I'm just going to place a drop right here inside the trap. Ooh, unfortunately, I triggered a trap, so it's a little bit unoptimal, I'll say. Not perfect. Here's another one, and then this one. One single trap with fertilizer is more than enough for the plant to remain healthy. For me, the slide trap, I kind of follow a similar pattern. Every couple of weeks, you can, you can continue this process. If you do have your Venus slide traps growing outdoors, which is actually like the most optimal scenario, I wouldn't even recommend fertilizing or or feeding that much because I'm I'm assuming that they'll have a lot of access to different bugs. They're actually really really good at, at capturing insects on their own, so you do not need to go through this process. I'm also going to show you how it looks for the sundew. One little drop. Okay. 
perfect. Just stay there. That's awesome. I'll try to add a second one. How simple it is to fertilize carnivorous plants. Let's use the right fertilizer, repeat the process every couple of weeks, and avoid if the plant is sick or is going through a period of dormancy, like for example for Venus flytraps. Thanks for watching.